Hmm. I didn't know you were such a slacker. Come on, let's get moving. We're not frozen in place after all. I didn't know you were such a slacker. I want my students to truly enjoy the study of ancient texts. If I can't find anyone like that, then I just want to find anyone. Oh, right. I can find someone to help my work. It's pretty reasonable to help the mentors when they have any time, right? I mean, even I did that back in the day. My illustrious aside, my intellectual capabilities have been acknowledged even by the animal Archon himself. As for why I still keep my students, well, it's not due to any fault on my part or that of my Darshan. Maybe it's not timing. I also received my vision precisely in opportunity after all. Knowledge is naturally something limited or restrained. It's like how Kasharawar can utilize Haravatat's research findings. All scholars will be grateful to Lesser Lord Kusanali for releasing the Academia. No, the city of wisdom from the shackles of selfish desires. <sighs> All who thirst for knowledge are not afforded the opportunity to search for treasures see knowledge. One of my favorite projects is researching rainforest ruins. Oh, right. I should ask Tainari to come with it's always travel with the living copy of the Rainforest Survival Guide. I must say, even though I've been for more than a hundred years, he's seen far more varieties of fungi than I've had the chance to taste. Ah, Kale. She's respectful toward her elders, diligent, and has a hard-working attitude. Truly the perfect student. Children like her deserve all the affection and praise. Tainari really has no reason to be as strict as he has been. Hmm. <sighs> I need to find a way to win her over. Ahem. What I meant to say was, as a senior scholar, I should... Really? Those jokes don't have any substance at all. Sometimes she'll lower her head and keep her distance when she sees me. However, she still smiles and greetings at night. I don't quite... Anyway, most kids in Taoists are geniuses. A quarter do is anything to concern myself with. Kaveh's a good kid with great potential. I had a casual chat with him once about some principles of mechanism construction. Hmm. How should I... He's too much of an artsy romantic. But at least he has some original ideas, which is rare nowadays. I've heard that he's fallen on some hard times, so I'm planning to invite him out for a good meal. Soon, I promise. I remember her. She's the prettiest. 
I've only been to the Grand Bazaar a few times, but she's already remembered my name and face. And she's even tried to get the others to stop arguing with me. She really gets it. All youngsters should be more like her. If I didn't accidentally lose myself in that King Desh I could have contributed even more to Sumeru. Thankfully, my manuscripts and treatises were still put to good use. Those freeloading Kashar used them to establish the fundamentals of <laughs> I'm not called Master on for nothing, you know. As a scholar, I would have the courage to accept failure and shoulder all of its consequences. I never wanted anyone to pity me, whether back then or right now. Also, don't forget that I eventually managed to solve that final puzzle by my own power and freed myself from that accursed place. Instead of pity, shouldn't people feel encouragement and inspiration from my story? several orders to me when I was stocking up on goods from outside of Sumeru. Her service is great and her prices are low. Oh, I think she's into pretty accessories. And I happen to have some handmade Sumeru specialties on sale. I want to buy some as a gift for her. I can give you a discount. Shazam! Recently, I often feel a mysterious gaze from the shadows that disappears as soon as I turn to look. What an absurd prank. Huh? A Nekomata, you say? Huh. She should have just come right up to me if she needed something. Have you been eating three meals a day? Also, enough warm clothing? Sure, it's not dangerous adventuring all the time. Any new injuries I should know about? Ugh. You know what? Forget that. It's gonna be long from now on. I'm gonna be feeling like braving the elements all day long. After I met Master, she said that the path of my faith had intersected with the Adepti Way and took me on as her disciple. To be honest with you, I didn't even understand what she meant by that. But it's been so much fun getting to hang out with everybody, listening to Master tell stories, and sneakily slacking off with Xiangling. And we also get to help the people of Liyue Harbor out a lot. <sighs> I really love it. The other knights already have their hands full. Cured without a trace. It's the miracle that I never dared to wish for. I never had. 